Let's get in. Get in. Okay, Christian, we're going in. Oh, okay. I really want you to enjoy yourselves. Don't think of it as a competition. Just express yourself musically, perform well, and, and just have a lot of fun. The menuing competition is not just a competition, it's a festival, it's a celebration. This is not about uh, the violin, it's about people playing the violin, I think, just as much as it is about the violin. Menuing competition is special for, for many reasons. First of all, it's the only one that has the junior division, and so one can see a huge range of talent, and, but it's, it's an inspiring competition because it's more like a festival and less like a contest, and I think the participants feel that they're just enjoying music and expressing themselves for a very friendly jury. Uh, it's, a, it's a friendly place that's inspiring just for all musicians to be a part of it. If you could please come on stage as I read your names, that would be nice. Chloe Chua. Christian Lee. What is genuinely unique about it is that it happens in a different city every two years. Most competitions, as, as, as you know, are, are linked to one particular place that they are always held at. But we deliberate, we make life difficult for ourselves by going to a different country every two years. And that has the enormous advantage of keeping it keeping it new and a little bit different each time. Well, well done. This is really, really huge congratulations. You guys have done really, really well to make it to semi-finals. So. When you see it go to major cities like Beijing, like Oslo, like Austin, then London, and now, of course, Geneva, you see the way it infects the community which is hosting it. So it's not limited to the 44 elite musicians, but it's shared democratically with everybody who comes to our concerts, who come to our master classes, who comes, of course, to our different competition rounds. And I think that's the legacy, the ongoing legacy of the menu in, is that it brings people together. You don't have to be an elite musician to be a musical person. What I like about this competition, that uh, it's real great festive atmosphere. Fantastic platform for kids to show uh, what they're capable of uh, doing, not only as a violinist, but as a great musicians. And for me, uh, violin, uh, it has only four strings. Imagine if you are standing in front of orchestra and direct them, and you are able by gesture to convey your thoughts and uh, influence the sound without words, you have much more strings. But the minute I want to take pressure off, I put the finger flat, mm. you see? So that way, I think here, this is lovely. Um, it's not. Um, you see the difference? Mm -hmm. The most special thing is that there's something to take away for every participant, not only the winners. And in fact, uh, as an organization, we encourage all competitors to stay until the very end. Um, and uh, we even give opportunities to perform in outreach concerts for those who don't go to the next round. Uh, but also we offer uh, master classes given by the jury members. And a lot of the music, you know, it's, it's uh, first you have to have the concept it's like talking, yeah. you're giving a speech, you know, and uh, or acting as well. Uh, yeah, just try to more, more, more. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, you know, in a, in the center of the body. The competitors actually they learn from each other also, and they learn from listening to the jurors' uh, concert and also mass classes. I think that's the special element. 
uh, that makes this competition so great is that the competitors have the chance to listen to the jurors and take master classes from the jurors and also take ad advice. You, you know, we have this special session where we talk with the competitors yeah, about their playing. So I think it's a very special competition and I think for the competitors and for the jurors, we enjoy it very much. When the chord is and then resolute. I don't want a big accent on the res resolution. So let's do again just the bar before. And then with all the notes. You need to search the scores to find things to love about the music. Because I think the love of music, the, the warm feeling, is the, the reason at least I am in, into music. And in the great music by the great composers, there are so many treasures to be found. And all of this is in a very, very personal. It's not about the big career, it's not about flashy technique, but it is something about something much more deep. There are many elements that are fascinating. <laughs> um, it's the, the, uh, the energy, the enthusiasm is one. Uh, the fact that it is uh, bringing music and a classical, relatively seen as a classical instrument, the violin, to the masses, uh, to a wide, um, a wide audience really. Um, and uh, it's, it's a message of hope that it brings. Uh, it's a message of youth and it's a message of excellence. I'm thrilled it's in Geneva because it, it's such an international city. It's a small city. It's not like London or Beijing, but, but, but there are so many wonderful organizations here. And it's great to collaborate with you know, great orchestras and, and great musical institutions. And, and I think somehow with many win competitions, sometimes the strength is the combination of all the collaborations make it a truly very, very special event. It's a passionate city for culture in general and especially for classical music. To bring it to Geneva was basically a match between a city we love and live in, um, but also uh, a city where peace and international organizations and an international crowd is, is living and, and roaming around. Geneva has been amazing. I've come here so many times in my UN role and therefore we know it as an international city, a city of peace, a city that moderates conflicts and global challenges through the UN particularly. And having the Menuhin come to Geneva in a way mirrors that same wider thinking and vision because the music, the people behind it, and most importantly the young people who make the Menuhin competition are in a way facilitating a different kind of global peace. And I think that's what's made Geneva so incredible. Geneva is obviously a very important Swiss city, but it, it, it's equally a very important international city. So there's been considerable enthusiasm from the, all the different national groupings of, of, of the different nationalities of people who are resident in Geneva, whether, whether associated directly with the United Nations or, or indirectly. And that's kind of fun, because in some of the other cities that we've been, You've had the local national audience, but you haven't necessarily had, had people from, from the countries that the, the participants themselves are from. And I 
think Geneva, uh, there's a, an esprit de Genève, a Geneva spirit uh, that has um, been at the forefront or at the initiation. And Yehudi Menuhin was a fantastic ambassador of peace as well. So I think the one leads into the, the, the one folds into the other pretty nicely. What inspired me to be a part of the Menuhin competition was the commitment to invest in our present. And that would be the young minds, the young talents, the young brilliance that the Menuhin receives, nurtures, and brings out in a way to share with the world. And as a trustee, it seemed to be not only a responsibility, but a huge privilege to be just one person in that bigger process. Music is the light, and these young people capture that. The most fascinating element is maybe the diversity of, of the competitors. They come from all over the world. Uh, they're all fantastic and, and they're all they're kids but with a great talent. So uh, what, we'll let you drone first. Okay. Um, and yeah, we, we'll, we'll, we'll save the best for last. I, I feel that we connect on a different level than if we talk. Thank you. Menuhin competition is a very famous and very important competition for young violinists. And of course taking part in this competition was something really important for me. I won the Menuhin Violin Competition in 2002, 16 years ago. The Menuhin Competition for me was a great foundation to start um, the international career as a violinist. This is really the place where you see the best of the best, really the top of the league. Among 10-year-olds, 11-year-olds, uh, these kids all come here and, and compete. And uh, this is really quite amazing. I would have also a lot of fun in private life because that also helps your playing a lot of inspirations. I mean, it always affects to your playing, so it's not only practicing at home, but just go out and have some fun, a lot of activities. I think that's very important as an artist. All the youngsters, you know, the young violinists, uh, playing at so, much, so high level and so polished. I mean, many in competition really is uh, one of the uh, most high-level competition in the world, and uh, I think you know over the years there has been so many great violins came out of this competition. The the most amazing thing is how, of course, the facilities and, and just uh, the way they kind of mastered the instrument by this age, but also how artistic they are and how they present themselves on stage. Uh, you know, it's something that comes naturally to them. Thank you. 
The level of the 44 competitors in Geneva is, is really outstanding, um, not just technically, but musically, personality-wise, and, and communicatively. It's, it's basically all about communication. Some of them really play at, played places at the highest musical level. They really spoke a language which, which hit directly to my heart and I was mesmerized and brought into a new world. This is what art is about, this is why I watch movies, this is why I read books, this is why I listen to music and I'm so happy every time I get this gift. The most impressive thing about the young violinists is that they play without self-consciousness. They are free. They're free in their head, they're free in their heart. They play from their, from their soul and they really already have totally unique voices at, at such a young age and they're not embarrassed to show how they feel through an instrument, to speak through an instrument. Differences, really exaggerate the difference. Okay, just, just from here, uh, uh, from the, so it looks forte and then suddenly a totally different sound, okay? There are actually some competitions which uh, are only interested in the winners. Uh, we're not. Uh, the other thing is uh, we really want to show everyone that the judges are also musicians, vulnerable musicians, uh, and uh, every juror in this competition has to perform in front of the participants uh, to show them that you know we are just colleagues. You know we have maybe more experience, but we're facing the same problems of stage fright or whatever. Everyone has something to give. Everyone has a personality. Everyone has their own heart that they share. And I think it's wonderful to be able to witness this um, sort of outpouring of uh, one's feelings. Being a fair juror requires 100% attention all the time. When people are at this level, the highest level, it's, what a, it's often just a question of taste. For me, I call it the goosebump factor. In, in other words, if I feel something viscerally and not just uh, mentally, if I, if I more than appreciate something but I'm actually touched by something, then that's my barometer. But it's very difficult to choose in the end and you have to go with your, with your gut. Another great deal of importance in competitions is meeting other people, other competitors, uh, because those are your future colleagues, those are your friends for life. I've met a lot of uh, great musicians and I met great friends, so it's a very great opportunity to meet wonderful musicians and uh, get really great friends. I was very honored to be the very, very first participant uh, in the inaugural competition in 1983 in Folkestone. And I was very lucky to be a prize winner back then, you know. And I really enjoyed, you know, meeting all the competitors from all over the world and to see how wonderfully they played and also meet with all the juries and the maestros. So it was an unforgettable experience for me. I met Lord Manion for one thing. I still have the picture. 
Uh, it was something to cherish, of course, and just saw him teach and just be there and walk the corridors. Heard lots of fantastic players. I remember Julia Fischer won that year, and she was, I believe, 11. And everyone was just amazed at how she, she could play at that age. But it's also the kind of the atmosphere of belonging to a community, which, which was nice. Uh, that year it was at, in, in England, and we were hosted by fantastic people and, and really taken care of like I never really uh, encountered until that moment. In this competition, uh, they have to not only play the violins, but also uh, lead an ensemble to uh, play chamber music. So it's a big challenge. Uh, if we talk about the 10 or 11 year old kid that have to, has to play um, and to lead an ensemble, give the upbeat to the orchestra, listen to, uh, to the orchestra, uh, play chamber music, it's a big challenge. It, it is the leading competition that they're really the very, very best young violinists from wherever it is in the world want to be part of um, and Winning, a, winning a, a prize at the competition is very significant in, in, in their career development. what has never happened in the history of the Menuhin competition. The first prize is going to be shared. It's very unexpected and like it's very happy. Like, it's very happy to win the competition. I feel very happy and surprised because I didn't expect to win. And I guess you figured it out by now. First prize goes to Diana Adamian. You know, it's so exciting for me because it was my dream and uh, I can't imagine that I won. <laughs> so it's so, so exciting. Every day uh, is a step and nothing is either victory or defeat. Uh, if you are Unlucky today, you'll be lucky tomorrow. Uh, everything is, the, uh, is a journey. I wish all the competitors good luck first, uh, and uh, to us also a good amount of luck to be able to continue organizing this uh, beautiful event. We are also very, very lucky people that we can speak the language of music. What will be now exciting is Virginia in 2020 and beyond. Mm -hmm.